Hey, fourth graders, welcome to lesson 16. My name is Ms. Bertuman, and today we will be solving two step word problems while using the standard subtraction algorithm fluently. Let's go. Read the first word problem with me. A company has three locations with 70,000 10 employees all together. The first location has 34,857 employees. The second location has 17,595 employees. How many employees work in the third location? I'd like you to pause the video here to draw a tape diagram that represents this word problem. Feel free to reread the word problem if you'd like. And as you do so, you can ask yourself two questions. One, can I draw something? Two, what can I draw? We'll compare our tape diagrams when you get back. We know the total number of employees. We also know how many employees work at the first location and how many employees work at the second location. We don't know how many employees work at the third location. That's what we're trying to find out. I'd like you to again pause the video here and estimate about how many employees work at this third location. I'd like you to share your thoughts aloud as you're making your estimations, and then we'll go ahead and compare our estimations when you get back. Were you able to estimate the number of employees at the third location? I did too. Check it out. For my estimate, I rounded the numbers to the nearest 10,000. So for the first location, I have about 30,000 employees. And the second location, there are about 20,000 employees, which means at location one and location two, there are about 50,000 employees. I know the total amount of employees is about 70,000. So I subtracted 50,000. And that means there's about 20,000 employees at the third location. Here's what I'd like you to do next. We're going to pause the video and I'd like you to actually calculate the precise answer for this problem. Of course, I'll be here when you get back so we can compare our answers. Take a moment to compare your work with mine. Let's now label the unknown in our tape diagram and then write a statement with the solution. Read the statement with me. 17,558 employees work in their third location. Please read this next word problem with me. Owen's goal is to have 1 million people visit his new website within the first four months of it being launched. Below is a chart showing the number of visitors each month. How many more visitors does he need in month four to reach his goal? This is what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to pause the video here to do two things. The first thing I'd like you to do is to draw a tape diagram that represents this word problem. The second thing I'd like you to do is share out loud your strategy on how you plan to solve this word problem. Of course, I'll be here when you get back. Take a moment now to compare your tape diagram with mine. One strategy that we can use to solve this problem is by first finding the sum of the first three months and then subtracting that number from 1 million. That will get the number of visitors needed in month four in order to reach Owen's goal. Here's what I'd like you to do next. Before solving for the precise answer, again, let's estimate how many visitors are needed for month four. So you'll pause the video here to make that estimation 
And then of course, share your reasoning aloud as you make that estimation. We'll compare our estimations when you get back. How'd you do with your estimation? Here's mine. I first rounded each number to the nearest 100,000 after adding the first three months. I know that there are about 800,000 visitors that have visited Owen's website. I then subtracted that number from 1 million, and that means Owen needs about 200,000 more visitors in the month, um, in month four in order to reach his goal. We're now going to calculate the precise answer. We'll do this step by step. I'd like you to first calculate the number of visitors during the first three months. Do this now and we'll compare our calculations after. What is the precise sum of the first three months? 829,609. We're now going to calculate the precise answer by subtracting um, 1 million minus 829,609. Pause here to do that subtraction problem and we'll compare our calculation after. How many more visitors are needed for Owen to reach his goal? Owen needs 170,391 more visitors to reach his goal. Let's compare our precise solution with the estimate solution. Is our answer reasonable? Yes, our answer is reasonable because 170,391 rounded to the nearest 100,000 is 200,000. Excellent work. Let's keep going. For this last problem, I'd like you to do three things. One, read the problem on your own. Two, draw a tape diagram that represents this problem. And three, share aloud a strategy for solving this word problem. Of course, we'll compare when you get that. Here's my tape diagram. What strategy did you come up with? I was thinking that we can first determine how many people arrived on Sunday and then add that to the number of people that attended on Saturday. Next, we are going to estimate the solution. I'd like you to pause the video here to make that estimation. As you do, share your reasoning aloud. We'll compare estimations afterwards. Here you can see I've rounded to the nearest thousand. So on Saturday, about 12,000 people attended the concert and about 2,000 people less were there on Sunday. So I subtracted, which means about 10,000 people were in attendance on Sunday. I then added those two numbers, and that means for both nights, about 22,000 people were there. We're now going to calculate the exact number of people that attended for both nights. Pause the video here to do that calculation, and then we'll compare our answers after. How many people attended the concert on both nights? 22,895 people attended the concert on both nights. Let's return back to our estimate. Is our answer reasonable? Yes, it is, because 22,895 is near 22,000. Great work today. Let's move in to today's assignment. For your lesson 16 problem set, your must-do problems are here on the screen. Go ahead and set a timer or watch the clock for 10 minutes to complete these problems. Of course, if you have any additional time, feel free to work through any other problems on the pages. 
Today, we solved two-step word problems while using the standard subtraction algorithm fluently. Great work. Be sure to check in with your teacher, and we'll see you here again for another Eureka Math lesson. Bye for now.